Hello again. Welcome to today's Open Heavens Reflections. My name is Sam Chiedozie. I pastor Glory Chapel, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God based in Newcastle. Our topic for today is No More Compromise. Our Bible passage is taken from Daniel chapter 3, 12 to 18. There are certain Jews whom you have set over the affairs of the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These men, O king, have not paid due regard to you. They do not serve your gods or worship the gold image which you have set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar, in rage and fury, gave the command to bring Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. So they brought these men before the king. Nebuchadnezzar spoke, saying to them, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you did not serve my gods or worship the gold image which I have set up? Now, if you are ready, at the time you hear the sound of the horn, flute, harp, lyre, and psaltery, in symphony with all kinds of music, and you fall down and worship the image which I have made, good. But if you do not worship, you shall be cast immediately into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. And who is the God who will deliver you from my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we have no need to answer you in this matter. If that is the case, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us from your hand, O king. But if not, let it be known to you, O king, that we do not serve your gods, nor will we worship the gold image which you have set up. Our memory verse is taken from Proverbs chapter 1, verse 10. My son, if sinners entice you, do not consent. As we reflect on today's Open Heavens Daily Guide, here is an anonymous saying that Pastor E. A. Adeboe often quotes. And it goes like this, if you cannot stand for something definite, you will fall for anything. That is what happens when a person cannot take a stand over anything. Such people are compromisers and they have no place in the kingdom of God. Today we read the story of the three popular Hebrew children in Babylon. Yes, it is true. They occupied privileged positions as governors in the strange land. But that was not the be-all and end-all for them. The king asked what they should bow down to, his image, and worship the image. When Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego heard about it, they quickly made up their minds that such a decree was contrary to the law of the Lord, which was given to them by Moses in chapter 20 of Exodus. They recognized that as a chosen people of God, they could not bow down to idols or an image of any being, for that matter. As we stated in our introduction, they knew what they stood for, and they refused to fall for anything. Even when it was clear that their lives was on the edge, they stood firm that they were going to stand for the Lord. Do you quickly compromise your position? Are you the Christian who is very comfortable operating in every environment? Have you become like chameleon? Such people are described as smooth operators. They can please everybody and nothing represents boundaries for them. Such people simply do not know their God and they will not be able to do exploits. Key point, a woman who easily agrees to sleep with a man loses her value and will be treated like a war. The woman who insists on sex only a marriage will be highly prized by God. Amen. I pray that in the eyes of the Almighty God, you will be highly prized. Amen will esteem you greatly in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, I ask that just be yourself. Know the plan of God for yourself and express yourself in the way that God has created you. You don't have to be a chameleon. It's not a good name. The Bible actually says that a good name is better than precious ointment. God bless you and see you again. Bye-bye.